Hey, everyone. How's it going? Kind of blurry. Really? Blurry? Right, let's fix that. How's that? Better? That's better. Cool. So, yes. How many of you remember the forensics video we did? Well, I got the microscope out again, but I think, as many of you may recall, the very bad quality of the stock pins on those GMS cylinders, that was, that was not ideal. So let's start with a somewhat better quality lock. Let's get her apart. And this time, what we're going to do, it's actually gonna be fun. It's gonna be a little three-part kind of uh, video here. First part is to actually look at a lock that has been in use for a while in the field, and we'll get a little baseline. Then we're gonna polish up the pins super polished, better than they have probably ever looked coming out of a factory or you name it. Get a look at that. Then we will try the leashy pick process again and actually see what kind of forensics maybe exist on a landscape that is pristine and pure like windblown snow. Sound good? Cool. So let's see what a series of not entirely effed up looking pins actually looks like under the microscope here. Okay. So interesting, you can see this pin has been subject to some picking. This was definitely one that I pulled out of a bin of, you know, locks that we've had in demos and things. How about the next pin we got here? Interesting, the second pin looks a little bit better. Still has some scratches, of course, but not as bad. Let's check the third pin. Yeesh, look, look at the gouge marks over here. And yeah, so pins, pins can go through a lot in the lifetime of a lock. Let's see if we can clean that up. What do you think? All right, go, go gadget improvisation. I mean, maybe that starts to look better. Let's, let's try to see. Yeah, I mean, there's concentric rings of smoothness, but it certainly does still look rough. Oh, wow, you can actually even see the shavings on there. Let's try the 1500. See, any different? I mean, it, yeah, sure, it's a little smoother. It definitely has, it definitely has a polish effect to it. Yeah, you know what? These are, these are gonna wind up about as clean as they're ever gonna be. Let's do that to the rest of them. So, let's see what this actually turned out looking like. Okay, okay. So, it's never possible to kind of get rid of every single mark, but it certainly looks better in there, doesn't it? That's pin one. Let's take a look at pin two. Kind of neat. Nothing that looks like a picking mark. I can say that. Pin three. There we go, yeah, and, and boy, when you magnify even super fine grit, I mean, I guess we could have used 5,000 grit or something. And, ooh, what happened here? Look at that. Jeez, pin four. Is that a, I don't know what that is. But it's good we're checking on this. We got kind of a little gouge there. We should check the last two just to be sure. 
Here's pins five and six. Here's pin five. Looks broken pretty good. Looks got like a, a piece of fluff or something on it. And pin six. Pin six looks pretty good. Yeah. All right. It was really just that pin. Was it pin three or four? It kind of looked like a like a mess. All right. Let's try putting this back together. Then giving it a pick job with one of the leashes as carefully as I can. Then looking at it again under the microscope. And as we saw, this is a full six pin, so we do not leave the Leashy standoff spacer installed. Let's get to picking. All right, so we're going to give this a try here. Be as gentle as we can. Trying not to overdo it on the turning pressure, because we want to try to be forensically light. But position one, ooh, we got a posi position one click pretty good. Position two, number two is either jammed or... Am I not on it? We, we might be. No, it's just really binding hard. Oh, man. Three. All right. We got like a three or a two cut on that. Position three. That also seems to be binding. And now, wow. What happened there? Oh, is it? Could, could, could be set? That's very hard to feel. One still feels good. Ah, I think we lost two. No, two, two still feels possible. No, three never really was binding. There we go. Or it is now. Gosh. All right, that feels good on three. Position four. Ooh, got a good click out of four. It sounded like someone else might have unset. Position five. Doesn't feel like anything. Position six, may, maybe? Mm, not really feeling six. All right, back to one. One feels set. Two. Two feels set. Three. Oh, I think three is what unset. Three feels set. Four. Four feels pretty set. Maybe a very deep cut. Five. Oh, now five is binding. Five is really binding. Oh, there. Oh, wow. Is that like a zero cut? Good Christ. And maybe six if we can get it. All right, fix feels, feels binding. This might do it. Let's hope. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we got that open. And I'm not going to measure the pins or anything like that. We're just immediately, with it turned, going to take this apart and try to look at it again under the microscope. All right, pin one. I'm excited. Are you excited? Well... There, there seem to be, I mean, I don't think those scratches were quite there before. But look at that. They're directly under. They're broad, too. They're, they're definitely that pronounced that we saw before. I think we saw this before. Let's check pin two. Interesting. Now, there's almost what look to be in and out scratches on pin two and a big old, big old gash. That wasn't there before. But does pin two have any of what we were calling like leashy marks? I don't see them. Interesting. Let's look at pin three. This is fascinating. And more, more of those in out marks. So the leashy traversing in and out and finding its position does still seem to look, that's fascinating. That is really something. And nothing that looks like leashy style pick marks. Pin four. Anybody home on pin four? A couple of those nick marks again. This is something else, man. So they do, they, we clearly have forensics. We can, we can conclusively say leashies leave some forensics. How they look though, is something that is kind of unique. There, this is great. Look at this pin five. 
all the marks seem to be very centered right under the tip of the pin, right near it and around the edges of it. What is that material transfer? I don't know what that little spot of brass might be. This is unreal. And we still have some light. Now, okay, could those be little leashy tick, tick, tick? I don't know. Pin six. Oof. Oh, look at the swirlies and stuff. What is, maybe that was from when we machined it. But look at these, look at these in out sort of rub marks. Could this be, I know what this is. As I was setting the shot up, I put the leashy tool in and out once or twice without using the pick arm, but the body of the tool, it still contacts the pins at their deepest position. I think the body of the tool effectively is at a nine depth. And it, yeah, 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 yeah. Pin one, what do you got again, pin one? So there, those are leashy swipes, which honestly, those don't look like picks. Those look like a key going in and out. Look, especially on number six. Look at this. If you showed me this, I would say that's a key. Someone used a key in and out of the lock. Now we have seen on a couple of these pins, what could be pick marks. Like, I don't know what that big gouge was. The first one was really the best example of this. Look at that first, that, that looks like a pick. But the really fascinating thing are those swipe marks. Look at that, man. Not exactly a key. A key wouldn't have those little striations, you know? But shit. This is so, I don't know, is this a myth busted? Is this a confirmed? Is this a... Damn, son. Hats off to that. This is fascinating. Fascinating. Christ, I love science. I love this. I love showing you stuff, man. What are we going to call this? Do leashes leave marks? Conclusively, yes. I mean, we can see them on the microscope. Leashies leave marks in locks. So it's not like the leashy is a so soft a touch that it doesn't exist. That myth is wrong. And I don't think anyone is ever seriously advancing that as a myth. But the marks they leave do not look like regular picking. They look like their own animal. I guess maybe we'll do a few more of these. Maybe I'll try to take some still photos that are even better and we'll add them into like lockpickingforensics.com or something like that. DG, I didn't get you this year for StakeCon. I miss seeing everyone in Vegas. DEF CON's going on right now. And I felt, you know, like uh, I wanted to feel closer to all of you. So that's why I'm doing this nonsense. And that's why I'm drinking. I mean, do I need an excuse? It's not DEF CON. But shit, man. Oh, wow. Uh, this is too cool. This is too effing cool. We need a giveaway. Oh man, what am I gonna what am I gonna do here? All right, I'm not I'm not giving away the microscope because I need that. I'm not giving away the leashy. It's literally my only one left. Uh, two guys, just they were. I'm not saying guy. They were both guys, but two people, two viewers. I don't have all guys viewing me. I appreciate that. I check the statistics. Two people just won uh, leashies from me today. In fact, I did the drawing. So what? Um, do I have anything unique? You know what? I do have something unique. These. <laughs> These are double-sided wafer jigglers. They're split wafer style jigglers. And I have been stocking these now. I found a source who is making them and I like them. They're on Red Team Tools. I will have a spare set shipped out. To, I mean, that's the winner. If you don't know this already, the mailing list, right? It's, it's down here somewhere in this space that's all cluttered. The mailing list is not a mailing list. It is just for me to give away things because I like giving back to the community. That gives me so much in the way of smiles and comments and very positive emails all the time. So yeah, I will set you up with a set of those. Somebody, if you're on the list, I will run the drawing and then I will email you and they will come to you in the mail because I appreciate every one of you so much. I appreciate this. This was effing awesome. Cool. All right. I love you. I appreciate you. Please stay safe out there.